If you're finally ready to add off-road LED pod lights like these to your vehicle, you've probably realized there is a lot on the market and they are very expensive. We decided to waste a ton of our money so that you don't have to and find out which one is best. Now mind you, this is some of the best pod lights on the market today. These are the best of the best and this is what we're testing. We got products from KC Highlights, we got Vision X, Morimoto, Dial Dynamics, all those heavy hitting names, they're all here in this test today. Not only am I gonna show you guys what they look like compared to one another with the output shots, but we're gonna compare warranty, if they have a backlight, pricing as of this video, Lux claim Candela and our measured Candela here in house. A lot of these manufacturers already have their own claim Candela, but just because we're Headlight Revolution, we wanna do it better by measuring our own. What is Candela exactly? It's the photometric intensity of the measured single solid angle. Essentially, it's the proper way to describe the intensity of these pod lights to compare to one another. When you hear us talk about Lux, we're gonna be using the Konica Minolta. This is a really good digital Lux meter. And if you wanna see exactly how we tested these to give you guys the most accurate measurements possible, check out the other video of how we test it. All of these pod lights, a lot of the manufacturers have different optics like a flood beam pattern, a wide and a driving beam pattern. Today's video, we're gonna be testing just the spot and the combo patterns. Let's start with the spot first and let's let Dial Dynamics kick it off. Starting up, we got the Dial Dynamics SS5 Sport. They come in at around $220 as of the time of this video being recorded. It does have a selectable backlight, which is really cool and multiple different colors. All of the Dial Dynamics lineup has an eight year warranty, but some of these pod lights you're going to see have a lifetime warranty. Keep that in mind. The claim Candela from Dial Dynamics was 406,100 out of the spot beam pattern. And we measured 400,100 Candela all across the board. Their claim Candela matches our measure Candela pretty closely. Dial Dynamics claims that this is the brightest pod light in the market. However, in our testing, it is the third brightest spot beam pattern out of all of these pod lights we've measured if we're going off of our measured Candela. They do have a yellow version. These pod lights come in at around $220. They do have a backlight with an eight year warranty as well. And their claim Candela was at 360,200. In this case, we measured 357,800. So it's pretty much spot on. At 10 meters, we got 3,578 lux. Now let's check out the Dow Dynamics SS5 Pro. This is their elite version or their better version. It comes in at around $700. Now these are only sold in pairs, so that's why you get the astronomical price compared to before. There is a backlight with multiple different colors to choose from and an eight year warranty. They have a claim Candela of 286,000, but in our testing, we measured 321,800. So in this case, Dow Dynamics was very conservative giving out their numbers of their spot beam pattern. Even though the Pro is more expensive, this isn't as bright as the Sport version. However, this does have a massive spot beam pattern when you look at it outside and on the wall. Thankfully, the Dow Dynamics SS5 Pro also comes in yellow. These have a price of $350 with the backlight and their claim Candela was 227,000. We measured 264,200. So their number in this case was a little inflated, but that's still real close. The next pod light we tested was from Vision X, the 6.7 inch CG2 light cannon. This is essentially a spot beam pattern, but the price comes in at $599. This is the most expensive pod light we're going to test out of all of these. I do not see Claim Candela on the Vision X website. However, that's why we tested it and we got 138,800. You got this huge but soft spot beam. This is the second lowest recorded measured Candela compared to all the other white spot beam patterns in this entire test. But what about Rigid Industries? Their 360 series six inch white spot beam patterns. How do they compare? Well, first off, the price of these are $638. That's really high, but you should note that these only come in pairs. In our testing, we measured 155,500 Candela. Now let's move on to the tried, true, and tested Baja Designs LP6 Pro. 
We've had it around our studio for a very long time, and I want to know if it's any better than these new pod lights we see here today. These come in at around $475, and yes, these ones are also backlit. Even on the Baja Designs website, we could not find the Claim Candela, but in our testing, we measured 276,000 Candela. As you can see, you've got a real soft spot with lots of spillage. It's not a super tight beam pattern that I would like out of a spot off-road pod light. The Baja Designs does have an amber version and it looks like this, still at around $475, but they do have that backlight still. And in our testing here, we measured 229,300. Throughout this entire video, you'll notice that when we show you guys the yellow output, they are not quite as bright as they white. That is because oftentimes you'll lose quite a bit of brightness switching from a white lens to a yellow lens or converting to a yellow output. So next up is the Morimoto Big Banger series. This is a newcomer to the off-road pod light game. They've had the four banger for so long, but now they decided to up the ante and see if they have a fighting chance with all the other competition on the market today. Just like the Morimoto four banger you've probably heard of, they have two different power levels, the NCS and the HXB. The first one we're showing you here is the Big Banger NCS, their entry level pod. With a price around $325, I'll say off the bat, they're very competitive. The Big Bangers do have a backlight, as you see. They have a claim candela of 425,000, which is the brightest thing you've seen so far, but in our testing, we measured 495,000. So their claim candela rating is very conservative. Here's what it looks like in yellow at $325, still with that backlight. They have a claim candela of 290,000, and in our testing, we measured 321,900. This is why I like to compare the measured candela because their claim candela can definitely be more conservative. Now let's check out the Big Banger HXB from Morimoto. This is their most powerful pod light. The price of these come in at around $475. So yes, they're pretty pricey compared to a lot of other pod lights you're gonna see here. They do have that backlight. And here's where they really shine. Their claim candela was measured at 535,000. When we tested it, we measured 564,000. This is the highest measure candela rating compared to all other white spot beam patterns when we went through and tested it ourselves. Now here is the Morimoto Big Banger HXB, their top of the line pod light in yellow at around $475. They do have a backlight and they have a claim candela of 400,000. We measured the candela at 394,800, but still very close to their claim. Something silly I noticed in this testing is the yellow spot beam pattern is about the same brightness as the Dow Dynamics SS5 Sport Spot white pod light. The entire Morimoto lineup has a lifetime warranty. The next spot beam pattern with the off-road pod light is from KC Highlights. This is the Pro 6. We've had the Pro 6 on a lot of our Headlight Revolution vehicles. They come in at around $265. I don't see a claim candela on their website, but thankfully we tested it. We got 123,700. It does have the lowest recorded measured candela out of all of the white spot beam patterns. Out of all of these off-road pod lights, the intensity of these are the worst. With the amber spot version, they're a little bit more expensive at $281. We measured a 73,900 candela rating. At 10 meters, that's 7,390. Now that's it as far as the spot beam patterns go. The spot beam pattern, again, you want that light as far down the road as possible. So yes, you want it very intense. This is when you're Bajan as fast as you can in the desert and you have to see long range. So that's what spot is. But combo is a little bit different. And a lot of people interpret what combo should be differently. Some people think they just need that hot spot with a little bit of ambient light or flood or fill around the spotlight. Some think they need a hot spot and then additional hot spots on the sides. 
Thankfully, in this video, you get to see all of the light outputs and then you get to choose which one you like so you don't have to waste your money. So here is the Dodge Dynamics SS5 Sport, their entry level in the combo beam pattern. These come in at around $220 with the backlight, still that eight year warranty. And they have a claim candela of 81,600, very close to our 84,200 measure candela. What's weird is this is not as bright as the Pro version, but it's very close. So their Pro and Sport, as far as intensity goes, is a little bit all over the place, if you ask me. This is what their SS5 Sport in yellow looks like with the combo beam pattern. This is the combo lens put on the same chip as you saw for the spot beam. These come in at around $220. They do have that backlight, eight year warranty, they have a claim candela of 71,200 and our measured was 73,300. That just goes to show you that our measurement in candela is very accurate for all of these across the board. Now here is the Dow Dynamics SS5 Pro, their top of the line pod light in the combo beam pattern. These come in at around $350. They have the backlight eight year warranty with a claim candela of 75,700. We measured 85,000, so in our measurements, we actually measured a substantial amount more than their claimed candela. As you can see, there's a soft hotspot in the center with tons of additional ambient light. This is what it looks like in yellow, still the same pricing, same backlight, eight year warranty. They have a claimed candela of 75,700. In our testing, we measured 64,800 candela. Again, pay attention to the color temperature. All yellow pod lights produce a unique color. You may like one more than the other. Next up, we got the Vision X 6.7 inch ADV light cannon. This is their adventure series LED driving light. This is what the combo beam pattern looks like with a price tag of around $460. Yes, these are also backlit. It shows they have an extended warranty. I don't quite know what that means, if it's a lifetime warranty or an eight year warranty, but this is what we get. I don't see a claim candela, but we got 265,900 in our testing. Now, these lights are over an inch bigger than most of these other models, but the biggest problem with this combo beam light from Vision X is the beam pattern. This is obviously a spot beam pattern, so for the purpose of this comparison, it will not be included. Now we get to check out the Nylite, the seven inch driving light in white. This is their driving slash combo beam pattern, and they come in with pairs only at around $136. That's very cheap if you're keeping score on all of the pricing. They have a warranty of five years. So from what I can tell, one of the lowest warranties on this list of products. I can't see a claim candela, but I do see 147,100. It's a very warm color and it's got a massive hotspot, just like that spot beam pattern. This is the third lowest measured candela number we recorded. This is also the cheapest pod light that you're going to be able to buy out of all of these we have today. All right, something I'm real interested in, the Baja Designs LP6 Pro with the combo slash driving beam pattern. We measure the candela at 203,100. Looking at the beam pattern, you can see a slightly vertical Titan center flood, same circular shape with a soft hotspot. This is what the LP6 Pro from Baja Designs looks like in the combo beam pattern still around $475. They do have a backlight, whether it was the white or the yellow, and we measured 168,700. The beam pattern is essentially the exact same as the white version. Now let's dive into the Casey Highlights Pro 6 white with the driving slash combo beam pattern. These come in at around $265 and we measured 68,500. At 10 meters, that's 685 lux. Guys, this is the second lowest recorded and measured candela rating out of all of the white combo driving beam patterns. The Casey Highlights Pro 6 in amber with the driving slash combo beam pattern looks like this. Still a little more expensive than the white version, coming in at around $282. We measured 40,500 candela. They don't have a claim candela, so this is what we're going to base it off of. That's not very bright. We can do much better. The Rigid Industries 360 series six inch. This is their driving slash combo beam pattern. They do have a backlight. The price of these pod lights at the time of this video was around $638.
I don't see a claim, Candela, but we measured it and got 58,700. We got the Lux at 10 meters, reading 5,870. This has the lowest measured Candela rating out of all the white combo beam patterns in this test. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty sure Rigid should be stepping it up in the off-road game. Interested to see what they can come out with next. One thing I noticed on the Rigid pod lights compared to all the other pod lights that have a waterproof connector on the back is that it's bare wire on the back. Remember, you guys are gonna be in the water, the rain, the mud, and you want something that's not going to corrode. So even if you have a good enclosed lens, your wiring is going to be a failure point if you don't have a good Deutsch connector or something waterproof. Just something I noticed. So here we've got Pro Comp, the Pro Comp 5 inch. This is what it looks like with the white combo beam pattern. The price is very reasonable at around $150. They also have a lifetime warranty, which is wild. Like I said, you definitely want a good warranty, like a lifetime warranty when you have off-road LED pods. We measured 239,100 Candela. That's 2,391 Lux at 10 meters. The beam pattern is a little more unique. It's a combo-like beam with some flood plus soft spots. These are about 27,000 Candela less bright than the comparable Vision X ADV. One thing to know, we did do a test of all these single LED chips and all the dual LED chips. So if you don't wanna buy these huge pod lights, but you do want an off-road pod light, check those videos out after this one. The next up is the newcomer in the off-road lighting world, the Big Banger NCS, the entry-level pod light from Morimoto. This is what their combo driving beam pattern looks like. It's priced around $325 with that backlight and the lifetime warranty. They have a unique light output compared to a lot of other pod lights that you see in the combo beam pattern. As you can see, it's not just a spot beam pattern with a bunch of flood around it. It is intentionally designed to give you exactly the kind of light that you need when you order a combo driving beam pattern. They have a claim candela of 115,000 and we measured 132,100 in our test. The Big Banger NCS combo beam pattern also comes in yellow and it looks like this. Coming in still at around $325 as of the time of this video being filmed. They have a claim candela of 82,500, which was conservative because we measured 91,900 or 919 lux at 10 meters with our digital lux meter. And here is their elite pod light, the Big Banger HXB with the combo beam pattern. This is the top dog in the Morimoto off-road lineup. The price does bump up to $475 per each one. They have a backlight like this, but their claim candela is at 210,000. We measured 230,700. This is what the yellow HXB looks like. And as you can see, this yellow color has a lot different color temperature than say something from KC Highlights or Dial Dynamics or Baja Designs. Now I understand that was a lot of information packed into one single video. Rewatch it, find out which beam pattern you like the best, the spot or the combo. Maybe you wanna mix them up and you wanna put them on a bar like this banger bar here on my Ford Bronco. There's a lot of different options when it comes to these off-road pod lights. And hopefully this video helps you understand the color temperatures, the outputs, the brightness, the intensity of the light, and so much more. It is our mission at Headlight Revolution to find the best in aftermarket lights, and we want you guys to understand what's best. Go to headlightrevolution.com, type in your year, make, and model, and you'll see everything that we've tested for your vehicle.